Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how I transformed this wardrobe. Okay, so first I sanded the top down with a 120 grit sandpaper and then with a 240 grit sandpaper for a smooth finish. Next, I removed the door and the drawers for an easier cleaning and painting. So for cleaning, this is the solution I use. A cup of water, a quarter cup vinegar, and a dash of the little burner soap. Then you wanna spray it and clean everything really good with a cloth. And after doing that, I decided to remove this decorative leaf from the drawer because I just thought it would look prettier without it. After that, I fill the holes on the side with wood filler because my hardware will be in the center. Once dry, I sanded it down so that the paint will apply smoothly. Now I was ready to prime so I covered every surface where I didn't want my paint to go. Also this helps you achieve a clean finish. The primer that I used is Kills 3 Premium and these brushes I got from Amazon that will be linked down below. So this is what it looks like after a first coat of primer. I didn't feel like I needed two coats, but what you do want to check is if there's any bleed through and in this case, this piece didn't have any. So once the first coat of primer was dry, I started painting. The chalk paint that I use is my own mix. And in this case, it was a grayish brownish color. Once that first coat was dry, I went ahead and sanded it with a 400 grit uh, sandpaper especially in the spots where you can see drip marks or brush marks, brush strokes. And then I repeated this three times, waiting 24 hours in between coats to make sure it's fully dry. And to finish, I used polycrylic um, water-based and I applied it with a sponge all over the piece. So next, it was time to clean the hardware. After cleaning it, I realized the paint wasn't even, so I decided to spray paint it in a black iron color to make it look brand new. And I also applied new hardware to the drawers. So this is a trick I use to make all drawers pull smoothly. I just rub Dr. Bronner's soap in the areas of contact and this also makes it smell really good. Okay, so now we're ready for the final result. This is how it turned out. I honestly like it so much more now. I see it in a little girl's room. That's why I stage it with my daughter's dress take some pictures and I just really hope you like it and if this was helpful you can like and subscribe I'll appreciate it and until the next time